Hi, welcome back to Missing Chemistry. We're looking at the electron configuration of rhodium. RG lesson. I hope I said that one right. Okay, so rhodium is element number 111. Pretty cool. All right. And its atomic mass number, of course, is 280 for its most stable isotope configuration. That means it has 111 protons. To be electrically neutral, you have to have 111 electrons. And to have our number of neutrons, we have to subtract 280 minus 111, which would give us 169 neutrons. Pretty snarly. S has two electrons, P holds six electrons, D holds 10 electrons, F holds 14 electrons. We use the op-op principle, saying we fill the lower shell first before we fill the upper shell. Okay, let's go and do this. 1s2, see how that goes? 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, see that? See how that goes? Then you just keep on going. Yeah, you know, sometimes you can sing things as you fill out these electron configurations, and it helps keep you focused. I, I like to sing like jingle bells to it or something, but anyway, totally up to you. Alright, 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, 6s2, 4f14, 5d10, 6p6, and uh, 7s2. Okay, looks like we're back on target. 5f14, 6d9. All right, we don't need that 7p. All right, so now, Hun's rule states that we put an up arrow in every suborbit before we put the down arrow. Up and down, up and down. Go up, 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 down, down, and down. Up and down, see that? And we're just doing it as happy as we can be as a clam, not a problem. Everything is going pretty darn smallly. And then we got 111 of these, it's going to take a while. It is a big effort, I want to tell you that. Especially when you use upper ones. It takes forever to do the Hans rule. Electron configuration itself is not too bad, but Hans rule, whew, that's a massive one. Okay. As you can tell, I'm having fun with my curves. Yes. Oh, look at that. Okay, that makes that look better. Okay, and now we're down. Getting close to the end now, finally. Starting to see some light at the end of that tunnel. I'm doing these things. Okay, now it's going to be 6D9 next. Sure is. Okay, so this is going to be, it looks like it's for R, noble gas notation. It's going to be RN radon again, the nearest noble gas to RG. All right, and now I've put it in numeric order because that's the shells. You go show the shell representation as it leaves from the nucleus. And there you go. And now, Pauli exclusionary principle says that no two elements can have the same set of quantum numbers, but it proves to be interesting on that. Uh, so we know it's in the D block. 
so it's n minus 1, and it'd be 7 minus 1, which would give me 6 for my n value. My principal quantum number is 6. Since it's in the d block, the l value or the angle of momentum number is 2. The magnetic number on this case is going to be 1. And the last area, of course, is going down. It's going to be 1 half negative. Okay, you guys be snarly. I will see you back here at Moosing Chemistry.